What are you going to say? Thanks for watching. Thanks Maybe. for watching. Please subscribe. Please subscribe. All right, man. What's up, y'all? It's Tomei from A Day in the Life with Tomei. And you can tell by the title of this video, this is an ultimate Shea Moisture haul. Okay. Um, just a one-off. This is the um, Shea Moisture Lavender Oil. It's relaxing and calming. If you saw my other video, I'll make sure to link all my recent videos below. And by the time you see this video, um, by the time you see this video, that uh, essential oil video should already be live on my channel. So this is just another lavender. I really, I'm really into lavender scents in my diffuser. They actually have a lavender shade line. Um, I'm thinking about getting. So this section of the video is just gonna be about the uh, face stuff. Excuse me, the face items that I have from Shea Moisture. Items that I haven't used yet that I can't wait to use. This is the Clarifying Mud Mask um, for blemish prone skin. And this is the Cuckoo Nut and Gravesee Oil Youth Infusing Mud Mask with olive leaf and extract and avocado oil. This is for aging skin. So one of the things I learned, if you didn't know, um, I used to sell Mary Kay about eight years ago. Yes, I was around uh, 20 years old when I started selling it. It was a bad um, timing for me, but they didn't care. Um, it was a really horrible experience, but we used to go to these trainers like every week. And then the trainers, they told us what you're supposed to do when you're, um, when you're 30, you should have been taking care of your skin when you're 20. And when you're uh, 40, you should have been doing things in your 30s and so on and so on. So the decade before, you really want to start taking care of your skin. So sometimes I look for anti-aging products um, because, you know, face it, you, you're getting older, you know, you have more things to stress about. But let me not ramble on. So I'm really into masks right now um so this is the shea moisture raw shea butter hydrating mud mask it did do a good job one thing about shea moisture whatever it says that is going to do on the product um except for maybe one or two products that i've tried so far out of this whole thing that you will see um they pretty much do what they gonna say and then you, you you get your money's worth or whatever so yeah that's the hydrating mud mask and then we're going to go ahead and go with the Dragon Blood and Coffee Cherry Instant Rebound Mask with Black Current and Boric Oil. This is for stressed skin here. And then funny story about this Daily Hydration Milk Mask. Daily Hydration threw me off. So I thought it was just a moisturizer. And my skin got super, super soft really, really fast because I would leave it on all day. For like four days in a row, I was wearing this in the morning um, on my way out the door. So that's probably why my face had broke out because it was probably just too much um, hydration. And then I like to keep it um, use uh, the same line of products because they are meant to work together. Um, but sometimes I break them up because I may like one piece and like it to go with this piece. But I like to give the set a try. So this is the 100% virgin coconut oil daily hydration face mask, but this is the cleanser. And it also comes with coconut milk and Acacia Senegal. It's a softening and restore skin. So a lot of times when I'm using mattifying products, um, I get really dry along here um, and uh, in here. Um, so I like to make sure that I put that oil back when I'm using um, a mattifying product. So this is the actual wool face lotion, um, same line of product here. Um, so that's really, really nice. And then I also have the Daily Hydration Overnight Face Oil. Um, the lady told me at Ulta, you don't put no kind of oil on your face. Save it for your feet. Black sea oil, whatever kind of oil you have, save it for your feet. But I don't really know, but she's the esthetician, she's the expert, so I kind of strayed away from putting oil um, on my face. Um, the next thing I have is the African Black Soap Problem Skin Toner with tamarind and tea tree oil. It's the clear and balanced blemished oily skin, and I only use this around um, the time when I'm having breakouts along my chin. For the most part, knock on wood, my skin really doesn't break out, so if it does, I know it's something that I used. 
And then last but not least of this uh, skincare kind of face um, part of the video is the um, Shea Butter Vegan Lip Balm, Coconut and Hibiscus, which is like my second favorite um, scent out of the whole entire line. So I'm just going to go right into um, head, head, I guess. On to hair, this is the Shea Moisture Magano and Hemp Seed Oil High Porosity Moisture Correct Co-Wash with Bad Boy of Protein and Apple Cider Vinegar. Cleanse and conditions damaged color treated hair and it's also for all hair types. Um, I have dyed my hair black in the past, um, but I just liked it when it says damaged because I do put heat to my hair quite often or I'm using products that may dry out my hair so I want to make sure that um, I am putting this back into my hair and this made it into my favorites July favorites this is damn near empty but to get my hair curly to blend with this hair that I have in by Maven by the way the link is below if you want to purchase this hair um, is the styling gel this is some of the best styling gel that I've ever used on my hair. It really defines my curls and everything. I don't get no frizz. I can literally wear a wash and go for four days in a row, sometimes seven, if I, I don't retouch up my hair. Once I do my hair like this, I probably, unless I'm going somewhere, I'll just refresh it. But I don't have to if I don't want to. It just get bigger and bigger and bigger, but the curls are still very, very defined, and I really do love it. And it's also good for... Um, it's so fade free and it's good for people who have color hair. So if your hair is blonde or whatever color you have in your hair, it's supposed to be really good for that. And this styling gel is to define and control low moisture retention, curly, coily hair. And I feel like I have dry hair, so maybe this is why this works for me. So that's it for that line. Um, then I have the On The Go Conditioner Hair Fragrance. And this is the Raw Shea Scent and Moisturizer. And then I also have the Extra Moisture detangler with the raw shade and it's about halfway done there and then for my little boy i use the coconut and hibiscus two in one curl shampoo and conditioner this little boy hates getting his hair combed okay and then i also have the same scent coconut and hibiscus curl enhancing smoothie this does not work for my hair this is about the only product that does not work on my hair um in the shade moisture line that's like one of the products so far that I have not liked. The rest of the items I like pretty much or I haven't really tried yet. So with, speaking of having tried yet, this is the Peace Rose Oil Complex Nourishing Silk and Dry Shampoo. Um, I probably should have used this before I did my hair um, for the last video. Doesn't really have a smell. Um, I can't tell you how this works yet, but uh, I'll let you guys know, so make sure you follow me on Snapchat. I'll put my little code here so you can pause the video and scan it, um, so that way you guys can follow me on Snapchat. Disclaimer, I'm random as fuck on there. If you want, if you about that life, follow me. Um, so on here is the 10 in 1 complex, fruit complex renewal shampoo with marula oil and biotin. Really, really good stuff. I want to say I have this in a hair mask and I didn't bring it. So I only have the um, shampoo. So if I, I kind of like get one thing and if I like it, I'll try the other stuff as well. So I don't just go and grab all the sets. Sometimes, sometimes I just go and grab it. And this is the jojoba oil and yucuba butter track tension and itch relief serum. So you guys, if you're wearing braids, if you're wearing weaves and so on, take care of your scalp, okay? This product is so easy to use. I need to use it now on my scalp because um, it's been a couple days. I rotate between the Wild Growth Oil and this and the Carol's Daughter braid, whatever. So, I'll try to take a picture of my Snapchat. Or y'all come in below, hit me up and let me know um, when you want to see it. So... In this same line of jojoba, I have the uh, Braid Up and Take Down Detangler with kerosene oil. And this is to prime and restyle cornrows, cornrows box braids, weaves, and extensions. This is for protective styles. 
And then also I have the No Rinse Foam Cleaner with Carrot Seed Oil. Clean and refresh cornrows box braids, extension and weaves. This is also for protective styles because if you like me and you're a natural girl and you kind of lazy, you're going to try different things on your hair. Just straight up. So this is the Weightless Shampoo in my favorite scent. Um, fruit infused coconut water weightless shampoo with MP oil and aloe. This is the high rate and boost fine wavy curly hair. I like the way it smells so I don't have fine wavy curly hair despite what it may look like but I just really really like the smell and then I also have this weightless texture spray. It's to tussle and hold fine wavy curly hair. So let's go ahead and spray that to lock in all that goodness okay and then I have the organ oil and almond milk smooth and time shampoo cleans and hydrates fine frizzy straight and wavy hair I think this is part of their smoothing blowout line I don't know what made me pick this up I think it was because it had marshmallow root asterisk and I'm like oh marshmallows childish I know product junkie the next thing I have in my favorite scent those between this and that, these are my two favorites. And they made it in my July favorite, so make sure you check out that video. So this is the Manuka Honey and Mafuru Oil Intense Hydration Conditioner. I know I have a hair mask for this. And then I also have uh, the shampoo. So this is the conditioner and this is shampoo and they also donate 10% um, of your purchase. And this is the Hydrate and Replenish Dry Damaged Hair. And it's for color safe hair as well. My hair, like I said, I believe is dry. I haven't been diagnosed. I haven't ever went to a natural stylist. I kind of transitioned on accident into natural hair. And I've just been rocking it for the last like four and a half, five years. If that long. I know it's been over four. Because I went natural before I had my son and he's three. Anyway. Um, I forgot to mention this deodorizing spray, and this is for protective styles. So if you got stinky weaves and stinky braids, go ahead and get into this Shea Moisture deodorizing uh, odor neutralizing mist. So I haven't really had to give that a shot yet, but I was like, ooh, never know, okay? And then I also have this um, Omega 3, 6, and 9 Sachi Inchi Oil. It's to rescue and repair and uh, heat protect. Um, I haven't straightened this hair yet, but if I did, I would definitely use this on my hair. So this is the hair care section. Again, I said I missed the hair mask, but it's going to be all right. My favorite scent, um, the Manuka Honey Hydrating Body Wash. So I be smelling good from head to the tip of my toe, okay, because I get the same thing so this comes in a scrub and a body butter the body butter is super super thick you don't need a lot and then um got the they got the wash and the scrub and then i have the raw shea butter hydrating body lotion this is for dry skin so i really really pay attention to like my feet when i'm using this and like my back and stuff like that um but this scent is not really my favorite scent um, I typically use this if I know I'm going to wear like a scented perfume. I'll try to use this because it really doesn't have a, um, a scent that won't, you know what I'm saying, mix. You got to be careful when you mix the scents. So this is also the Super Fruit Complex Bubble Bath and Body Wash with Mango Butter and Green Coffee Bean, bean extract. extract. This is contouring, firming, and smoothing skin. I also have this in a mini lotion because... I'm telling you, I go to CVS, I go to Walgreens, I go to Ulta, excuse me, I go to Target, I go to Walmart, um, I list everywhere I go below, and each place always have a different scent, <laughs> excuse me, so one place may have like the body wash or the scrub, but they might not have a lotion, so that's why it's kind of hard to get all of it, so I'll explain later on down the line because it sounds like I'm talking in circles. But if y'all can keep up, this is what I'm saying. Okay. And then I also have this in a body scrub as well. And then my favorite scent again is the um, Energizing um, one. And um, I pretty much have it in the scrub. I have it in the lotion. I have it in the wash. And then I also have like a mini traveler that go with me. A mini lotion. You know, sort of refreshing the scent up so you can smell good. And then my third favorite scent is the Coconut and Hibiscus Body Butter. Um, 
And this is also for firming and toning. And I also have the 2-in-1 foaming milk and body wash. And then I also have the hand and body scrub. How to exfoliate your skin? You exfoliate your face, right? Why not exfoliate your body? And then um, I picked up the Jamaican Black Castor Oil Moisture Retention Body Wash and Bubble Bath with uh, vanilla asterisk. This is for rough, dry, ashy skin. Uh, no shade, but my husband can probably benefit from this. Okay? And then also, I got the 100% Virgin Coconut Oil Lotion. And then I also, this was in my car all day, so it's liquefied right now, but it's going to harden back up eventually. And this is the Head to Toe Nourishing Hydration, Soften and Restore Hair and Skin. So you can use this from the tip of your head to the top of your toe. This is what I like about their products. And then I also got the 100% Raw Shea Butter um, from their line. And it's super, super thick. Kind of reminds me of the other body butter that I have. In the Manuka scent. I also have the Manuka scent in a hand cream that's in my purse. If you want to check out my hand cream video, check that out below. I'll link it below. And then I also picked up this environmentally stressed skin. Um, it's the Sea Kelp and Pearl Protein Nourishing Hand Cream with with sea buckram oil. I haven't seen this anywhere but online. I literally just picked it up from Walmart today. It has a very, very subtle scent. So it's not really like a big scent on it. And then also I picked up the 100% Pure Avocado Oil. And this is from that Beauty Hack line. It's something new that I've seen at Ulta. Where they have like their product with no scent. It's just a base. And then you kind of mix it and make it your own, which is really cool. Not really my thing, but oh well if you're into that. And then I also got the Organic African Black Soap with Shea Butter, Acne Prone Face and Body Bar. Sometimes my husband gets pimples on his back, so I'll have him in mind when I pick this up. And then last but not least, this is the Inflammation Therapy Medicated Cleansing Bar. Um, relieve soothing moisturize is homeopathic medicine hypergenic and dermatology uh, tested it's Indian hip and raw shade I think I already said that um, and it's reduces skin inflammation yeah um, I like to use this on the swollen parts of my feet so I think swollen is inflamed right I don't know but I use it and it seems to take care of that. So, hope this video wasn't too long. Um, I hope you guys can stomach it. These are all my Shea Moisture products. I'll have the links below as well on, um, on my blog. Which will be very clickable. It will take you right to the site. So, thank you guys for watching. And please subscribe. Bye. y'all it's Tomei from a day in the life with Tomei and you can tell by the title of this video this is an ultimate shea moisture haul She live here or something. Okay. So, hey, what's up, y'all? It's hey, what's up, y'all? It's Tome from A Dana Life with Tome, and I'm back again with what? I'm not doing a celebration list. <laughs> hey, what's up, y'all? It's Tome, and thank you for coming back to my channel. And by the title of this video, you can tell this is a ultimate shade moisture haul. Okay, um, just a one-off. This is the, um, I don't know what that is, but it's not like somebody's outside. My gun in here, okay? So let me just get the product out so I'm not, like, digging. <laughs> 